when it comes to attachment theory, okay, and, and the, my work along with my wife, Judith, uh, is, is modern attachment theory, meaning neurobiologically informed attachment theory. Um, uh, not to get too technical here, but there are differences between secure attachments and insecure attachments. So in an optimal situation with, very, with, an, with a good enough mother, mm -hmm. this was a term that was used by the British pediatrician psychoanalyst Donald Winnicott, actually. Okay. The good enough mother. She's yeah. not perfect. Yeah. But literally, um, yeah, and when she skips, when she misses, she's there to repair. The mm -hmm. key to this is she's there to repair. In this kind of a situation, you're looking at, in an optimal situation, what's called a secure attachment. And a secure attachment is an indicator of later resilience, while an insecure attachment would be, you know, uh, something less than that. And, and in the most uh, negative of insecure attachments would be associated with abuse and neglect. In other words, to give each individual um, the best possible chance of life, which means the best possible first two years, yes. where there are you know, that there are smiling eyes, that there are others who are interested, you know, that there are others who are emotionally resonant to the child's baby, that the baby can have the expectation when there's stress, a human being will be there. We really, in terms of the larger human situation or larger culture, we need to um, turn back to the needs of mothers and infants and yep. to optimize that. In the first two years, uh, as I've said, um, the brain is sensitive to either positive or negative situations. And so if there is nutrition or if there are nutritional deficits or if there is t too much stress or abuse and neglect, it will have a negative trajectory. And the, because you're talking about a critical period of, of, pro, of growth of the, of the right brain, the relationship between the mother and the infant, again, is uh, shapes up this social brain for the rest of the lifespan. So the, 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 the brain growth spurt, the time when the brain is gross the most, when it doubles in size, is from the last trimester, which is the last three months of pregnancy, mm. into the second year. Mm. And then, it, although there is brain growth you know, at later points, it's nothing like that. And that is also this period when the right brain is doubling over. And you can do more with, the, with that brain at nine months then I think you can do it with that in same individual, let's say, at six years. This I mean, it's just sensational. I mean, and, and, and you know, being able to, to focus resources into that area yes. is going to change society on such a massive scale and prevent. But also, in the first two years, there is more plasticity in the brain than yeah. at any later point in time. Yeah. So this is literally where to put the money, so to speak, where mm. there is more of this plasticity. Literally, the origins of it, again, are in this period from the last trimester to the second year. So basically, you're saying the emotional health of the mother affects the Absolutely child. Absolutely the case. The practical applications are already being worked out because there are programs in this country as well as in the UK uh, which are attachment oriented programs mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. And the key to those programs is not working just with the infant, it's working with the relationship again, see it comes back to this, yeah. between the primary caregiver and the infant. And these programs are there despite the difficulties in the world at this point in time, despite the economic and the political uncertainties, um, there is a very positive energy here because a lot of people are getting on board here and, uh, and also have a similar vision here about the future and literally how we can make uh, you know, a better life and a better world for what is to come.